Hello everyone, my name is John. Thanks for joining me today on Stubble Me Steel. Today I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to compare two single edge razors, but I wanted to do a little different. So let's do modern versus old school. Let's do uh, fancy modern with an interesting twist to open style versus a, a vintage razor. So if you're not familiar with my uh, series on the gem video that I did all about gem razors, check that out and I'll go into a lot more depth on this particular razor. But Quickly, this is made by American Safety Razor Company uh, under the name of Gem, and this is a twist open. This one is called the Micromatic, and this particular one is called the Clog Proof because it has these huge lather channels on there. Notice how it has the solid safety bar. There is another version of this that's the Open Comb. That one is considered the most aggressive of the series of gems, so depending on what you want. This one is a lot smoother. I like this one because it's very smooth and very efficient. Haven't used this one in a while, so I kind of wanted to compare it. When I had first gotten this, you know, uh, single edge razors engage the face at more of a downward shearing angle. And so I don't want to say that they have blade feel, but the way that they engage the face and feel is much different than a double edge razor. And so I've been using these single edge razors and in particular these gems for the past couple weeks, month now, and I've gotten really used to them. So I thought it would be fun to go back to the thorn and see how does it compare. So that is the Leaf Thorn model, which is a little bit more efficient and aggressive than the more mild twig. And so I thought it would be a good comparison to do these. If you're not familiar with these gem style razors, it uses this blade. Now I know what you're thinking, oh, that's just a paint scraper blade from the hardware store. It is not. They look very, very similar. I had another buddy, uh, Matthew Lawrence, in his channel, uh, he actually tried one of those and it was a tiny bit shorter and I actually wouldn't even shave at all. So, you know, that was an interesting thing. I wanted to kind of try on some of my razors and see if I got the same thing. But anyways, this is made by Persona and uh, this has a specialty ground edge on it. And uh, that would be one thing that kind of has blown my mind on these razors in particular. So you just set it in there, these little tabs on the front, grab the front of the blade. And then as I mentioned, this is a twist open, so you just twist it closed. But what I was going to say was one of the most impressive things to me on these particular blades is Normally on a DE blade, I get three to four shaves and I've literally lost track. I think I'm on eight or nine or something like that on this. So that said, I do have another one on standby. If it gets a little rough, I might change it out. Uh, this particular one, if you're not familiar, has a really unique twist to open. Um, it does take quite a few turns, but not only does it open straight up, but then it kind of tilts off to the side so you can kind of uh, load a little bit easier. And it does have a magnet in there. You this particular one takes a conventional DE, or you can also buy them in singles like this, pre-split. I take DE blades and just snap them in half, but has a little magnet right there. So you just kind of just drop it on there. Make sure that the tabs are sitting in their appropriate spots right there, and then basically just tighten it back down. All right, so we're good there. Now, some of you might cry and complain, well, how you, can you compare them? They take two different blades. Well, <coughs> there's some ways to blade hack these. In this particular one, you can actually use a injector style blade if you're very careful loading it, but that's another subject entirely. So I figure we're just kind of going more shave experience versus shave experience. I realize just like everybody else that obviously blade versus blade can make a difference. But as I mentioned, you know, you can only get so many blades for these gems. And these are the best ones I've tried. These are the PTFE or Teflon coated ones. First, I was a little apprehensive because they're about 30 cents a piece. I know that's not really much in the grand scheme of things compared to a cartridge razor, but when you consider the Gillette Nasset is what I have in the uh, leaf thorn there, and those are $11 for a hundred. So you're talking 11 cents, so there's just 30 cents. So the fact that I can get double the shaves out of them, then it kind of brings it more apples to apples because now it's basically like 15 cents or something, depending on how you want to look at it. For the soap today, I'm using uh, McDuff's Autumn Cabin. Fantastic uh, foresty type smell with like a hint of this toasted maple that it has to it. But as my buddy uh, John from Cape Cod Shaving, he kind of summed it up best. To me, it's more like a burning leaves smell like a nice campfire burning leaf smell, not like a, something's on fire and burn, burning down. Really good smell, I really like it. And then I pair it with a Sterling, either Evergreen Forest or Coniferous for the aftershave splash, because I already had those ones. But I really like this McDuff's soap. 
awesome thickness and slickness to it. Nice, dense, thick leather. So I've been thinking about doing this video for a while. I kind of just got sidetracked with my nine great razors for under $20 series that I just did. And just trying to kind of acquire some other razors and do some other stuff. So finally got around to doing this one. I'm kind of excited to see how this one turns out. I was tempted to use my gem featherweight model that I have because I also really really enjoy that one but I thought this was a little more even just because it was twist open versus twist open. I want to say this is the second shave on this so if like I said same as the gem if I'm not liking it for some reason I do have another blade on standby. I have a buddy, Matt, that loves this thorn. It's one of his favorite razors. And the amazing thing is he's gotten like 17 shaves or something ridiculous out of a Gillette Nasset blade. And he's doing a perma sharp now and he's getting up there. I think he was on like 12 or something like that last I talked to him. I don't understand how he gets that mileage out of him, <laughs> but it's awesome. Well, it's funny when you get used to something as far as, like I mentioned, when I first tried this thorn a couple of times, I don't want to say that it was aggressive, but it just felt so different to me as far as how the blade engages the face. To me, single edge razors almost feel like a cross between using either a shave edge or a straight razor and double edge. To me, they're, they feel kind of somewhere in between. That blade felt nice in that. And, all right, onto vintage style. As I had mentioned, this is the closed comb version. They made two of these though. This is the second generation. It has 17 little nibs on the safety bar, made in 1945. The first generation was made 41 to 43. It has 12 nibs on the closed comb safety bar. I have both of them, and uh, I feel that there's a tiny bit more blade feel on the tw 12 nib variant versus this one, the 17 nib. I find a little bit smoother. Been a while since I used one of my gems. I love the audible feedback that they have. The analogy is that it sounds like a butter knife on burnt toast, and that is perfect analogy of what it sounds like. There's a modern company called Shield that sells on AliExpress. I believe he's in China somewhere. And he makes a gem head and handle. So I just ordered that. I was real curious. I'm going to do some comparisons. Modern gem head versus vintage. But what made me think of it was I was just talking about the audible feedback. He offers in aluminum. So I purposely ordered it in the aluminum because the aluminum razors usually have a little bit different 
resonance to them when you're using them and audible feedback. Uh, for instance, with the Razor Rock Lupo that I have, it sounds totally unique to that Razor because of its aluminum build. So I thought that the Gem Razor head by Shield brand in the all aluminum, I thought that'd be pretty cool. I bet it's gonna sound pretty nice. That's, that's my hope anyways, we'll see. I'll do a video on it. Guys are comparing it to the uh, PAA Starlet or to the uh, Blackland Sabre. But the Blackland Sabre, I guess, only has a V2 head option. Uh, some guy was saying that if they made a V3 that he would compare this Shield Gem to that. So, curious. Not to get too off topic, but the aluminum and the audible feedback thing just made me think of that. This McDuff's can take a lot of water, I've noticed. I ordered a, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, B-O-T-I, Bowtie, Bowtie, um, Knot. My dad and I made these uh, handles. He made a similar shaped one and he wanted me to get him a knot. And I told him I wasn't in love with this AP Shave Coat knot. So I wanted to order him something a little bit different. So I ordered him one of those with that shield razor at the same time. He doesn't offer them. It was just while I was on AliExpress type thing, I ordered it. So curious to see how that one is. I've heard good things about that uh, Boti brand, so curious to see how I like it. Or I should say how my pops likes it. All right, Leaf Thorn. I am still glad that I got the thorn instead of the twig. I was worried that the twig would be too mild. And the only thing I hate more than an aggressive razor that eats up my neck is a too mild razor that I can do five passes with and still not get a BBS. So after watching my buddy uh, Heiko on Heiko Shaves, he compared the two of them and he didn't really seem to make it seem like it was all that aggressive. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna try that one instead of the more mild twig version. I still can't believe this blade doesn't feel, it feels fine. Maybe it'll get dull on the against the grain pass. We'll see, I don't know. I think I read somewhere, one of my buddies uh, was saying that he's heard a guy's getting 15 and I read somewhere some guy said he gets 20 shaves out of a gem blade. <laughs> so I'm really kind of curious at this point how long these damn things are gonna last. I opened up two blades because I was comparing two razors at the same time and I've been on the same two blades that I opened for I don't know how long now. Super thick. I love the sound of this, these razors, especially this one. I'll put it to you this way. I like this so much that I ordered a second one just in case that something happens to it. <laughs> I need a backup at some point. 
is currently they can be had for 15 to 20 bucks and this is 100 percent brass all you need to do is basically polish and uh, clean it up you can use either vinegar lemon juice or brasso or flitz or um, mother's mag and wheel polish to bring back brass and it's through and through even if it has scratches on it you get some real fine grit sandpaper maybe like a 2000 or 3000 something like that 1500 you could polish out pretty much any scratches or abrasions in it blows my mind on some of these old razors you know when you factor when you sit and really just kind of appreciate the fact that this razor is from 1945 And just pretty much flawless works right at, right at that like it used to twist to open still works pretty amazing what they were capable of we're talking what you know almost pretty much 75 years old this razor is already Well, it's funny, as I mentioned earlier, you get used to different things. I've been using these gems for a few weeks now, and it seems like I've gotten used to different feel or more blade feel. This thorn feels nice and smooth to me. It's been a while since I've used it. I'll give it to the thorn for the under the mustache cleaning for sure. The gems are a little bit tricky because the way that you have them sit on your face if you haven't really been paying close attention is you almost sit it parallel and then you come off about 15 to 20 degrees. I find somewhat similar with this, but as far as the, the head shape and stuff itself, it's much easier to get this underneath the nose area than it is that gem, but easy enough. You can still work with it. I don't know if uh, this is the Berry Blue Thorn. I don't know if it also is available on Amazon in that color. I got it directly from Leaf. You can use code JOHN10 if you want and get 10% off Leaf Shave if you order directly from, from them. The other razor that Leaf makes with the multi-blades looks pretty cool, but I'm not a head shaver, so it looks like it's more suited for that or body shaving. I know guys really like it for that and ladies really like it for their legs. It's pretty cool. It takes snapped or uh, non-snapped, just single edge blades. It takes, you can change however you want to load it. It can take up to three of them, but you can use one or two blades in it as well and kind of change the efficiency or in the shave on it. So I thought that was kind of a cool, unique design. I've never seen any other razor that's like that one. Let's <clears throat> take some soap out. Third pass, and we'll see what cleanups we have to do. Kind of compare some efficiency between the two razors.
I do enjoy the cool Art Deco retro style look that this has. It's got these lined or fluting down here for grip. I wish they had kind of gone all the way through with it. I think it would be a lot better grip or better yet, even just gone to a more traditional knurling, but uh, it's usable. As any of my subscribers probably have noticed, I'm just a little bit of a uh, pain in the ass when it comes to handles. Just pretty, I'm just picky. Can I, I can use pretty much any of them, but when it comes to a razor that I love, I like a little bit better knurling. Nice against the green. It's funny, some guys complain that brass has a unique smell when it gets wet and they can't stand the smell of brass razors. The only time I've ever really noticed is right there when I do that mustache pass. It does have a tiny bit of a smell, but yeah, it's mild. Mild at best. I would say my critique of the brass razors is, boy, they are they are maintenance whores for sure. They, they require a lot of TLC if you want to keep them looking good. If you like that patina look, then no worries, but... If you want it to be shiny and blinging all the time, they're definitely not a set it in the met in the razor cabinet and forget about it razor, that's for sure. And I'm curious, you know, I'm not uh, super into metallurgy, but I don't know if uh, modern brass and uh, new brass is the same, if they, if they add any other metals in there. I don't know if the new brass is any less prone to getting a patina than old brass. I'd speculate not, but that's just a wild guess. So how do they compare after our third pass? Is there a huge difference between the two? Do I find one easier to work with or use than the other? Boy, I'd say it's real similar almost as always. Tiny bit here. And same areas right in here. I would say if we wanna be super nitpicky, it feels like the gem got a little bit more in here but I still need to clean it up. And same right here, it's you know equal on both sides. All right. Just gonna rinse off.
for everybody with my post shave routine. Let's get right to the meat and potatoes of the shave. So which one did I like better? Did I feel one was uh, above and beyond better than the other one? No. So basically it comes down to personal preferences. Do you like the cool art deco look of this, of the more modern style uh, leaf? Are you a stickler for grip? <clears throat> I will say that I've noticed as far as how many times you have to turn this, boy, you have to turn it quite a bit to open and close the head. <coughs> Excuse me. Longevity wise, um, I, again, my buddy Heiko Shaves did a you know video. He was using his all the time and it started to get a little bit sticky. So he shows that you can actually take this apart if you're mechanically inclined and, and fully clean out the inside and lube it all up. So uh, I was somewhat concerned that it seemed like uh, he had to basically do that, uh, you know, not, after not too much use. This again, it's from 1945 and it uh, pretty much, you know, works flawlessly. I've never had any problems with it. So, you know, again, finish wise, this is solid brass. You can pretty much, you know, last a lifetime and maybe get patina at best, but you can polish it out to a beautiful finish. Obviously this is coated. You know, how long this finish is gonna last before it starts to play, uh, you know, flake off. I live in the desert, so there's low humidity here. If you were to leave it in a steamy bathroom or if you had a humid climate, you know, I don't know that this razor would last forever or any plated razor for that matter. Price-wise, uh, the Leaf series, the twig or the thorn are about $60. Whereas yes, I did have to search around for this on eBay, but these are anywhere from 15 to 20, $25 if you want one with a case or something like that. So, you know, price point, you could get three vintage gems <laughs> for the price of one of these. Just depends on what you like. They do offer a cool stand and this kind of just sits on the stand. Um, you know, feeling in the hand wise, I think I, I like the gem better. Uh, the design and the weight balance on this, I find a little uh, odd sometimes. It's not that it's hard to use, but uh, it's just a little bit different. So if, if I had to pick which one would I pick? Well, you probably already know because I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit of a gem fanboy by now, but I would have to go with this classic vintage tested, you know, it, it's lasted the test of time. Like I said, this thing's from 1945. It's, you know, over 75 years old already. So Something to be said for that alone. I like the, uh, you know, the vintage feel to it. This uh, little ring and stuff right here, I find it very easy to grab onto for against the grain passes. And I like the, the blade loading uh, setup, especially with the fist to open. So I guess that, that would be my two cents. I, I'd say I have to give it to the gem, but I do really like the, uh, the leaf razor was a lot better than uh, I remembered it being. Now that I'm used to the single edge, it was a lot smoother than I remember, so really can't go wrong with either one gentlemen hope you enjoyed the shave and i look forward to seeing everybody soon